know, if we ask who can come into the presence of the Lord, this was something that a group of elders in the Scottish Hebrides back in the year of 1949 prayed as they were gathered together in a barn on the island of Lewis. And as they were praying and asking God to come, to send his fire, to come down, the Lord spoke to them out of Psalm 24. Uh, you'll remember this, or you'll be familiar with this passage, but it's worth re reading again here. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? There's obviously alliteration here to Sinai. The mountain of the Lord is, is another way of describing who can come into God's house, where his presence is. Who may stand in his holy place? Who? Who's allowed to do this? Who's permitted to do this? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. So, before we want to enter in to a presence of fire... It's very, very important that we are certain that we have completed the preparatory process to ensure that our hands are clean and that our hearts are pure. Because in that context, halfway measures are the same as no measures. They put us in an exceedingly dangerous place, which is not exactly what we were hoping for. So, Moses has quite a lot to say uh, about these folks, but he, he says, uh, among other things, he says to Korah, he says, you Korah, and all of your followers are to do this. Take censers. And tomorrow put burning coals and incense in them. Before the Lord. In other words, you do the thing that is to be done if you are inviting the presence of the Lord. You do that. And the man that the Lord chooses will be the man who is holy. And we've just described who it is that can ascend to the presence of God. It's a long, long, very interesting chapter, 16, 16 chapter of Numbers. I invite you today or tomorrow to read it in its entirety and meditate on it. 